Hey everyone, Lutz Lounge here. In this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to use optical flow in Final Cut Pro, and it will allow you to slow down your footage a little bit more than you should uh, and blend it in a little bit better. So for example, if you shot something uh, in this clip, it, this was shot at 60 frames a second, uh, we can slow it down to, uh, to match a 24 uh, frames per second uh, rate film, uh, but we can actually slow it down a little bit more than that, and, uh, and it'll blend in very well. This technique also helps when you shoot at maybe 30 frames a second and you really want to slow it down to get that really cool slow motion look. Optical flow will allow you to um, more or less blend the frames together that are missing in between and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here is this footage. Uh, this is at normal uh, 60 frames a second. You can see the drink is just pouring in there. So what we want to do is going to uh, slow this down to um, to match a 24 frames per second clip. So this clip was set up at 24 frames a second. So all I need to do is click on the footage, go to our retiming, and I'm gonna choose automatic speed. That's gonna automatically change this to 40%. So this is 40% of what the, the uh, film should be shot at to match 24 frames a second. So you can see it's a little bit slower motion here. But what I'm gonna do is actually slow it down even further to 20% right there and now you can see it's a little bit more jittery uh, it's not as smooth as the uh, the original the half speed that it would have been and so how I get it to blend in a little bit better is to go to my retiming again go to video quality and choose optical flow now I'm gonna let it do its thing uh, the Final Cut Pro is going to render it a little bit um, and you can see it up here in the top it's rendering that and applying the optical flow to the clip so once it's done I will go ahead and show you the uh, the result of what it does alright so now that Final Cut Pro has rendered here is the uh, clip now with optical flow speed uh, kind of slow down a little bit more than it should be and you can see uh, it really helps smooth out those choppy frames in between that are missing uh, you don't want to go too far with this if I were to go down uh, to maybe 10% of what it should be which is way too slow uh, if I do that you can see here it's still a little bit weird it looks like things are morphing together so you really have to find the sweet spot uh, when using the optical flow but it does help uh, I've used it on clips where uh, I, I wanted to have a really slow motion clip and I mistakenly shot it in 30 frames a second and the optical flow does allow you to slow it down a little bit more and really blend in those frames so if you're looking at getting really nice slow motion footage uh, use the automatic speed to match whatever frame you're trying to output it in and then use the optical flow to maybe kind of play with it and get really nice smooth footage uh, when you're slowing it down so thank you for joining me in this video uh, head on over to lutzlounge.com we have a lot of cool things over there a lot of tutorials a lot of cool LUTs for your photos and video and uh, thank you guys for joining me and I'll see you in the next one